Salute, men. Welcome to Bad Boy D. Relapse TV. <laughs> I'm over it now. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my last video. I'll leave it in the pinned comment in the description. It's the truth about the semen retention benefits and why you shouldn't relapse on no fat. Anyhow, today's video is going to be about it's okay to be an introvert. Nothing wrong with being an introvert, men. I'm going to give you some life game for introverts. Some of this stuff and concepts might be new to a few of you. And for some of you, this might be a very good, empowering, relatable refresher. So let's own being an introvert if we are, and make the best of it, because there are lots of benefits to being an introvert. Stay tuned and let's start the show. Bad Boy D TV. Some would refer to uh, the introverted Bad Boy Alpha as the Sigma male. However, I'm not a big fan of the term Sigma male because the concepts and the ideals are real. However, the content creators who I've seen bring up the Sigma Male philosophies and the Sigma Male channels. I don't want to say anything derogatory specifically about them, however, let's just say I was not impressed. They all seemed like they had something to prove with their Sigma philosophies, like they were trying to convince themselves. Basically, there's nothing wrong with being an introverted bad boy alpha. And if you think about it, some of the most revered masculine men in society are pretty introverted. Does Clint Eastwood seem like an extrovert? Is James Bond an extrovert? Is John Wayne an extrovert? Hell no. It's good to own being an introvert and not guilt yourself over it. Don't comply to society's standards of being a, a social beta butterfly that everybody loves. A lot of women, yeah, I'm gonna talk about women for a minute, are drawn to extroverted men who are mysterious and keep their mouth shut and don't gab about everything. In some cases, that can be one of the most attractive attributes to a man is keeping shit to himself, being stern and stoic, because personally I like that term more than introvert or introverted, is stern and stoic, and in your masculine frame, shout out AMS, in your masculine energy, your masculine essence, in my opinion that's almost really beta to always be chit chatting and gabbing with the girls, or with the guys for that matter, being a gossipy little shit. We're all guilty of this, we all do it from time to time. But it's something to always be cognizant on and keep in mind. You know, it's, a, it's an old cookie cutter term, but there's truth to it. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, and we're all guilty of this. Bad Boy D says a lot of mean shit all the time. It's something I should work on. And even though personally I am an introvert or stoic dude, I don't have bad social skills. I just choose not to use them a lot. I don't feel like using them a lot. And I prefer my time alone and I enjoy recharging. Don't feel guilty about that. If you're your own best friend, I've said this several times, if, your own best, if you are your own best friend, you are never lonely. It's always good to keep in mind that vicious cycle of doom that be content and use the best attributes you have from the natural way you are, your authentic self. If you enjoy being alone, enjoy being alone. And don't guilt about it, because if you guilt yourself about it, you won't enjoy it. And as far as social settings go, the less you speak, the more it's going to mean something when you do speak. 
Because when you do have something to say, it's of importance. And even if it isn't of importance, people will perceive it as important. Because you don't flop your gums so damn much. And if people perceive you as being a dick, it is what it is. Don't let it bother you. They have to learn the hard way that there's different personality types and there's certain things you can only say to certain people. And you're one of those people they can't just get away with saying all kinds of random shit to. That's just how life is and sometimes you have to be a karmatic mercenary for the most high. And now some just life game tips for dudes who are more introverted. Have a unique style, have a cool masculine style that suits you. Sometimes being quiet, mysterious, and masculine, you're perceived as a cool guy without even intending to. Have a cool killer walk. I've often heard the term walk like Denzel. Supposedly Denzel Washington has a really cool walk. But ultimately, just don't walk like a meek little beta. Like, don't put your hands in your pockets. If you do, let your thumbs hang out. Walk with your, swing your arms when you walk, walk with authority, walk like a boss. Walk like you own shit. Walk like you have something to be proud of. Chest out, shoulders back, chin up. It takes practice for some, because they have, some people just have such a weak posture, it could take a year to really fix that shit. But hanging from a bar really helps. Get one of them chin up bars you can hang from your door to do chin-ups obviously but also just hang once a day it really straightens out your shoulders and your back works out the kinks and for some people it actually makes them a uh, inch or half an inch taller once they stretch themselves out a little bit so don't feel guilty about being introverted guys it's a totally normal thing it's the way you were designed personally I'm a huge proponent of being your authentic self and not changing yourself to comply to this cookie cutter clown world. Be the best you you can be and be a better person. But do it for yourself and don't do it to impress others. Own being an introvert or a stoic centered man, as I prefer to say. And when you're comfortable and confident in being in your authentic, masculine energy, good things happen. Just don't relapse on no fap. <laughs> I'll emphasize that again. Watch that video. And being an introvert who enjoys time by themselves because you love yourself, you love your own company, and you enjoy that recharging time to yourself you still do productive things make sure you're eating healthy work on your self-improvement work out consume mind expanding content like bad boy DTV subscribe if you haven't yet it's amazing the amount of healthy random self-improving things you can do for yourself when you're by yourself and then when you are with other people, depending on your personality type, you can be as extroverted and energized as you want, or you can still chill back. Sometimes introverts can be extremely social, and sometimes they are chill in certain social situations. And like in my case, depending on how you feel at that specific time. And getting back to the whamming one more time. In most cases, or in some cases, depending on the circumstances, but personally for me, I feel the best and have the most success when I am just stoic in my centered masculine frame. And they can feel that low anxiety, calm, centered energy, and most women are drawn to it. If your prerogative is attracting whammon right now. Check out my latest video right there. Check out another one right there. I'll drop another one down yonder. And subscribe to my channel right there. I'm out of here. Peace.